Hello, math learners! Our lesson for today is about polynomials. The learning objectives for today are you are going to define polynomial and its related terms. Identify the kinds of polynomial and determine the degree of the term and the degree of the polynomial. What is a polynomial? It is an algebraic expression where the exponent of the variable is a positive or zero. There are no variables in the denominator or under the radical sign. A polynomial of degree n in x is an algebraic expression that contains a specific number of terms, each of which is of the form ax raised to n, where a is a real number and n is a whole number. A polynomial is made up of terms that are separated by addition, subtraction, or multiplication. Polynomial comes from the two words poly meaning many and nomial meaning names, which in this case refers to terms. Let us have examples. Given 3x squared minus 5x plus 7, this is a polynomial with three terms separated by a minus and a plus signs. Another example, the quantity of x minus 3 times 2x plus 18 times the quantity x squared plus 12. This is a polynomial with three factors. Now, what is a term? It is a number or a product of a number and variables raised to an exponent. For example, 3, 5x squared, negative 2x, and 9x squared y. What is a numerical coefficient? It is the numerical factor of each term. For example, 5x squared. 5 is the numerical coefficient. Negative 2x. Negative 2 is the numerical coefficient. 9x squared y. 9 is the numerical coefficient. What is a literal coefficient? It is the literal factor of each term. For example, 5x squared. x squared is the literal coefficient. Negative 2x. x is the literal coefficient. 9x squared y. x squared y is the literal coefficient. What is a constant? It is a term without a variable. Examples, 3, negative 6, 5, and 32. Take note, algebraic expressions are not polynomials when any of the variables is used as a denominator. Any of the variables is inside a radical sign. And any of the variables is raised to a negative exponent, a rational exponent, or another variable. Identify which of the following algebraic expressions are polynomials. Number 1. 3x squared plus x minus 1. So, this algebraic expression is a polynomial. Letter B, 51. 
51 is a polynomial. This is a constant number. Letter C. Negative 10 plus x minus 3x cubed minus x raised to exponent 5. How do you consider this? This given is a polynomial because the exponents are positive. Letter D. The given is 2x to the exponent of 4 plus x squared minus 3x plus 5x raised to exponent 1 half. This is not a polynomial because it contains a fractional exponent. There, it's one half. Letter E. 3x cubed minus x plus 2x raised to negative 1. This is not a polynomial because the third term has a negative exponent. Letter F, square root of 3, x to the exponent of 7 plus x to the exponent of 4 minus 3 x squared plus 4. This is a polynomial because the exponents are positive and only 3 is under a radical symbol. Do you have questions? If there is none, let's proceed. Let us have the classifications of polynomials according to the number of terms. A polynomial is made up of terms combined using addition or subtraction. The first one is monomial. And what is a monomial? A monomial is a polynomial with one term. Examples, ax squared, rt, 2x to the exponent of 4, negative 9m, and 9x squared y. The next type or classification is binomial. And what is a binomial? It is a polynomial with two terms. Examples. X minus 8. R minus 3. 5X squared plus 2X. And negative 2X plus 9X squared Y. So, if you notice, the first expression is separated by a minus sign. And also the second one. The third example is separated by a plus sign. And also the fourth example. The third one is a trinomial. It is a polynomial with three terms. Examples, x squared plus x minus 8. So, the three terms are separated by a plus sign and a minus sign. We have another example, r to the exponent of 5 plus 3r minus 3. So, 1, 2, 3. There are three terms. Next example is 5x squared plus 2x minus 7. Still, there are three terms. Another type or classification is called multinomial. It is a polynomial with more than three terms. Examples. 4a squared b raised to exponent 4 plus 3a cubed b raised to exponent 5 minus 9b raised to exponent 4 plus 4. So, let us count the number of terms. It's 1, 2, 3, 4. So, it is an example of a multinomial. Another example, you have 4x exponent 5, y exponent 4 plus 5, x raised to exponent 4, y raised to exponent 6, minus 6, x cubed, y cubed, plus 
2xy. So, this is an example of a multinomial. Next, take note that polynomials should be written in standard form, wherein the degree or the exponents are arranged in descending order for the sake of organization. Let us have an example. 3x to the exponent of 4 minus 7x cubed plus x squared plus 4x minus 10. So, this will mean that you have to start with the highest degree or the highest exponent, which is 4. Followed by 3, followed by 2, and the exponent of x is 1. And the exponent of 10 is 0 because a constant has a variable x but the exponent is 0. And x to the exponent of 0 is equivalent to 1. That is why 1 times 10 is simply 10. Now 3x to the exponent of 4 is what we call the leading term of the polynomial since it is the term with the highest degree or the highest exponent. And the leading coefficient of the polynomial is 3 since it is the coefficient of the leading term of the polynomial. So here, 3 is the leading coefficient or leading numerical coefficient. Let us have the degree of a term. The degree of a term in a polynomial in x refers to the exponent of x. For example, 3x to the exponent of 5 minus 4x squared plus 6. So, the degree of the first term is 5. The degree of the second term is 2. And the degree of the third term is 0. Take note, the degree of any real number except 0 is 0. The number 0 has no degree. Do you have questions? If there is none, let's proceed. Let us have the degree of a term with more than one variable. It is the sum of the exponents on the variables. Examples, negative 7x squared y. So, the exponent of x is 2. The exponent of y is 1. All you have to do is to add 2 and 1 and it is equivalent to 3. Meaning, the degree of the term is 3. Next example is negative 9m n raised to exponent 5, z raised to exponent 4. The exponent of m is 1, the exponent of n is 5, and the exponent of z is 4. So all you have to do is to add 1, 5, and 4. So the answer is 10. So the degree of the term is 10. Next example is 2x exponent 4, y squared. The exponent of x is 4, the exponent of y is 2. So what is the degree of the term? And the answer is 6. 4 plus 2 is 6. Let's proceed. Let us have the degree of a polynomial. It refers to the highest degree among the degrees of the terms in the polynomial. Example, 3x exponent 5 minus 4x squared plus 6. So what is the degree of the polynomial? The degree of the polynomial is... Five. The first term 
has the highest degree of 5. Let us identify the degrees of each term and the degree of the polynomial. The first example, 5x cubed minus 4x squared plus 5x. So let us have the degree of each term. In the first term, we have 3. Second term, 2. Third term is 1. And what is the degree of the polynomial? It is 3. Next example. 4a squared b raised to exponent 4 plus 3a cubed b raised to exponent 5 minus 9b raised to exponent 4 plus 4. So, let us take the degree of each term. First term is 6. Second term is 8. Third term is 4. And the fourth term is 0. And what is the degree of the polynomial? It is... 8. Last example. 4x to the exponent of 5, y exponent 4 plus 5x raised to exponent 4, y raised to exponent 6 minus 6x six cubed, y cubed plus 2xy. Let us have first the degree of each term. For the first term, we have 9. 5 plus 4 is 9. Second term is 10. Third term is 6. And the fourth term is 2. So what is the degree of the polynomial? So the degree of the polynomial is 10. Do you have questions? If there is none, then see you next time. Bye!